Hello everyone. For a month of December, remember we're reading our book, Unwrapping the Greatest Gift. We are on chapter three, and the name of this chapter is God's Tears. Our reading from today is Genesis 6, verses 5 through 8. The Lord observed the extent of human wickedness on the earth, and he saw that everything they thought or imagined was consistently and totally evil. So the Lord was sorry he had ever made them and put them on the earth. It broke his heart. And the Lord said, I will wipe this human race I have created from the face of the earth. Yes, and I will destroy every living thing, all the people, the large animals, the small animals that scurry along the ground, and even the birds of the sky. I am sorry I ever made them. But Noah found favor with the Lord. You could try it. When you lean your body way to the left, or when you lean your body way to the right, sooner or later, you're bound to fall. And inside of every single person walking on God's globe, there beats this heart with a very bad lean to it. Our love didn't lean toward the real the one real God with his arms wide open in his uncontainable, unending, unconditional, unbearable, unfailing, unwrappable love. Our love leaned towards these selfish things that we made into our fake gods. These little idols that have no real arms at all. So when we lean toward them, we just fall hard. God looked at the hearts leaning away from him, and his bruised heart swelled with sadness. His heart was filled with pain, is how God felt when he looked around and saw everyone sinning and leaning and hurting. God's tears fell like a flood. His heart hurts not just with a few teardrops of ache, not with just a slow drip or a bit of sadness. No, the whole gigantic enormity of God's heart swells sore with what hurts your heart. And his tears of sadness flooded the world. God leans to us who are falling in a hurting world and he catches us. He whispers, I love you. You know how it's almost like your mother ties her heart to your heart so that she feels what you feel? So it's almost impossible for her to get to forget you, even just for one second. I want you to remember this down to the very deepest parts of you. It's absolutely impossible for your Father God to ever forget you for even just one fraction of a second. Because I've tied my heart to your heart even closer and I feel what you feel and I've written your name right here on my hand. No matter how much your earthly mother loves you, more than to the moon and back, your heavenly father loves you infinitely more, more than to heaven and on into forever and always. God's love for you made him weep over all, all our sadness and sin. His heart filled with ache and spilled like a flood. And God offered everyone a gift, a rescue, a massive wooden ark, an ark much like a cradle on water. And he whispered, come to the ark. God sees our tears now and the, hut, the hurt flooding the world right now. And he offers everyone the greatest gift, a rescue, a wooden cradle, a wooden cross. And he whispers, come to Jesus. Noah and his family were saved by the ark. You and the whole family on this earth are saved by Jesus alone. Some horrible, awful, miserable, very bad days. You may look around and say, if there's a God who really cares, he'd look at our world and his heart would break. And God looks to Jesus who went to the cross that real tree and says, look, my heart did break. While Jesus hung on that cross, 
Soldiers speared his side as if they were piercing straight into Jesus's heart, filled with sadness for all the world's pain. And it was like the water and blood of his broken heart gushed right out, like a flood of an unconditional, unbeatable, unending, unwrappable love. So when those floods of bad things happen, if you lean toward Jesus, if you incline toward Jesus, if you rest in Jesus, you get the gift of Jesus, like an ark of love, holding you, carrying you, raising you gently up through any flood of sadness that fills the world.